Giants. It's the Giants against the Philadelphia Eagles. And right now, the Eagles are struggling. They're on Santa's naughty list, Jimmy, having lost three in a row. Yeah, they're struggling, but they're going to, you know, be in the playoffs. They've already sensed that. They'll probably win the division. But this is nowhere close to the Super Bowl team they had last year. They lost both their offensive and defensive coordinator. Offensively, they're turning the ball over. They're not getting explosive plays. Defensively, the pass rush has disappeared. They're horrible in the secondary. Philadelphia, you better pick it up. Merry Christmas. All right. Let me help you with that. Let me get that snow off your eyebrow right there, yeah, Scrooge. But, you know, but I'm going to leave it. There, there are positive there. I, I, I know that hurts. He's thrown twice as many interceptions as he threw last year. But on the, at the How same time, he leads, all, he leads all NFC quarterbacks in deep touchdowns, over 20 yards. That's something. That's why they fall in love with deep ball, which yeah. has come back to haunt them yeah. a little bit. He has 14 rushing touchdowns, which is tied for the record with Cam they, Newton. They're one-yard touchdowns. It doesn't matter. He's in the end zone. Jimmy, okay. but there are some positives there, but I think with Philadelphia, <laughs> as if they've lost their swagger, which is your word, right. they look dejected for a team that still has a great record that's going into the playoffs. Defensively, they put Matt Patricia over there to, to work on the defense. That didn't do much against Drew, Drew Locke. He came and lit him up for over 300 yards. I think that this team right now just is trying to find themselves. I mean, they had an identity last year. They don't have that same identity, that toughness, that resolve that we saw last year. And it's hard to kind of put a finger on why. I think losing the coaches definitely hurts. Yeah, but that's when your leaders as players need to step up as well. And right now, it doesn't look like anybody stepped up and taken that role. They, they've got talent, so there is a chance that they can improve. Well, we will today, continue to spread Christmas cheer around Philadelphia <laughs> a little bit later on when we specifically look at Jalen Hurts and that offense. But right now, how we want to talk about but the other team that was in the Super Bowl, the Kansas City Chiefs, you take a look at them, and you know what, Terry? We'll let you go first here. The Chiefs, they're struggling right now, but they can still win the West simply by winning it doesn't against all, the Raiders. You, you don't just show up every year and play great. I don't know why. I don't know the secret to that is. It's kind of like you go out some mornings and you turn your car on and you're driving down the road and your car's running, but it's sputtering. And you go, something's wrong with my car, but I'm moving along. That's kind of that's kind of Kansas City, you know. When Beanie left, uh, keeping control, keeping that team, you Detail. know, focused on Detail. what they're supposed to be doing. Oh. And then Kadarius Tony dropping passes. The best thing happened to Kansas City today. He's hurt. He's not playing. So I'll say to you. Have you heard of Watson? Have you heard of James? Have you Valdez Scanling? I mean, these are the three receivers that have to step up. And, and Travis Kelsey, he cannot do it. They're doubling him, taking him out, forcing these other three guys I just named to step it up. Pacheco, their running back, is back. That is good news using him out of the backfield That's today. Big. was huge. Yeah, that was you know, I, I think there's a lot of frustration there, obviously. It's one, it's the penalties. Two, it's the turnovers. And, and, and three, I think it's the lack of explosive plays. Kansas City's used to putting up 30, 40, 45 points. That's not the case. There's a lot of frustration. And sometimes that frustration ends up being directed at everything but the source of the frustration. That being said, I think with Andy Reid, Patrick Mahomes, Travis Kelsey, uh, a defense that's great, and, and a, and a big-time, uh, big-game defensive coordinator yep. uh, in Steve Spagnuolo, I think this team could, with three games here at the back end of the season, favored in all three games. They could go 12-5 and five and hope that Baltimore falters and Miami right. falters, which is feasible with the schedule they have. And, uh, you know, if they don't, they're going to have to do something they they've finally, never done. They're going to have to go on the road. On the road. Yeah. They finally have a defense yeah. that's better than their offense, which is, which is hard right now. Go